Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, two right triangles uh, ABC and this other right triangle uh, ACD put together as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this angle uh, BAC and this uh, angle uh, CAD are uh, congruent. Both of these angles are uh, alpha each and moreover both of these right triangles uh, share uh, this uh, side AC and the length of this side is uh, 7 units and furthermore uh, this side uh, BC is being represented by 3x whereas uh, this side uh, CD is 4x and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, pink shaded uh, region this area and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ACD. And I'm going to label uh, this uh, side AD as uh, lowercase a. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, lowercase a is our hypotenuse, whereas uh, 4x uh, and uh, 7 uh, are our other two legs. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, 4x whole uh, square plus uh, 7 square is going to be equal to a square. So therefore uh, a square turns out to be equal to 16x square plus 49 and now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, our lowercase a value simply turns out to be square root of 16x square plus uh, 49. So thus our lowercase a value turns out to be square root of 16x square plus 49. And now we can see that these uh, two right triangles uh, ABC and this other right triangle uh, ACD are our similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. Since uh, these angles are uh, congruent, this angle is uh, 90 degrees likewise uh, this angle is 90 degrees as well. So therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words the ratio of the side lengths BC and DC is going to be equal to the ratio of the side lengths AC and AD. And here in our case our BC length is 3x. So I'm going to replace that one with 3x. Likewise DC length is uh, 4x. I'm going to replace that one with uh, 4x. Our AC length uh, is uh, 7. So I'm going to replace that one with 7. And finally our uh, side length uh, AD is being represented by square root of 16x square uh, plus 49. So I'm going to replace that one with uh, 16x square plus uh, 49. As you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see this x and this x uh, cancel each other out as you can see in this uh, next step and now we are going to cross multiply so therefore uh, we are going to get 3 times the square root of 16x uh, uh, square plus uh, 49 equals to 28 and now we are going to divide both sides uh, by 3 this 3 and 3 is gone so therefore we are ended up with the uh, square root of uh, 16x square plus 49 equals to 28 divided by 3. And now I'm going to undo this uh, square root by taking a square uh, on uh, both uh, sides. And we can see this square and square root is gone. So therefore we ended up with the 16x uh, square uh, plus uh, 49 equal to 784 divided by 9 and now I'm going to move this uh, 49 uh, on the other side as you can see in this uh, next step and if we 
subtract uh, these uh, two numbers uh, that is going to give us uh, 343 divided by 9 as you can see in this uh, next step and now I'm going to multiply both sides by 1 divided by 16 on the left hand side and at the very same time I'm going to multiply by 1 divided by 16 on the right hand side as well and here we can see this uh, 1 divided by 16 and 16 is gone so therefore uh, x square turns out to be 343 divided by 144 and now I'm going to undo this square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore uh, that is going to give us uh, x uh, equal to 7 times uh, square root of uh, 7 divided by 12 so thus our x value turns out to be 7 times square root of 7 divided by 12 and now we are going to substitute this uh, x value over uh, here so that is going to give us 4 uh, times uh, 7 times uh, square root of 7 divided by 12 and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 7 times square root of 7 divided by 3 and likewise we are going to substitute this uh, x value over here uh, as well so if we substitute that value that is going to be 3 times 7 times uh, square root of 7 uh, divided by 12 and that is going to give us uh, 7 times square root of 7 divided by 4 and now let's focus on this uh, other right triangle ABC and I'm going to label uh, this uh, side AB as our lowercase b and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 7 whereas our two other legs are uh, lowercase b and uh, this uh, side 7 times uh, square root of 7 divided by 4 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we got uh, b square uh, plus uh, square of uh, 7 times uh, square root of 7 divided by 4 whole square equal to 7 square and if we focus on this uh, part uh, 7 times square root of 7 divided by 4 square is going to be equal to 343 divided by 16 as you can see in this uh, next step and now I'm going to move this uh, fraction 343 divided by 16 uh, on the other side as you can see in this uh, next step and in this uh, next step if we subtract uh, these uh, two numbers uh, that is going to give us 441 uh, divided by 16 and now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore uh, our b value turns out to be 21 divided by 4 so therefore our this uh, b value is going to be 21 divided by 4 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, total pink shaded area is going to be equal to the sum of the triangle uh, ABC area we are looking at this triangle ABC area plus uh, the area of the other right triangle uh, ACD area so therefore now our task is to calculate the area of the triangle uh, ABC and the area of the other triangle uh, ACD as well and now we are going to calculate the area of the triangle uh, ABC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base times the height and in our case the base of this uh, triangle is 7 times uh, square root of 7 divided by 4 and the height is 21 divided by 4 so therefore the area of the triangle uh, ABC is going to be a half uh, times uh, 7 times square root of 7 divided by 4 times uh, 21 divided by 4 and if we multiply everything on the right hand side the area of the triangle ABC is going to be 147 times square root of 7 divided by 32 and now we are going to calculate the area of the other right triangle uh, ACD as well and once again we are going to use the very same area of the triangle formula 
and in our case uh, the base of this uh, triangle is 7 times square root of 7 divided by 3 and the height is uh, 7 so therefore the area of this uh, triangle ACD is going to be a half uh, times uh, 7 times square root of 7 divided by 3 times uh, 7 and if we multiply everything on the right hand side that is going to give us 49 uh, times square root of 7 divided by 6 and here's our final step the total pink shaded area is going to be equal to the sum of these two triangles ABC and the other area of triangle ACD as well and we already calculated the area of both of these triangles let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so our triangle ABC area is 147 times square root of 7 divided by 32 plus the area of the other uh, right triangle ACD is uh, 49 times the square root of uh, 7 divided by 6 and if we add these uh, two fractions that is going to give us uh, 1225 times square root of 7 divided by 96 so thus our total pink shaded area turns out to be 1225 times square root of 7 divided by 96 uh, square units and that's going to be approximately equal to 33.76 uh, square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye